In 1927, Dr. Elmer Sperry invented the first rail floor detector vehicle. Ninety years later, the company that bears his name is still leading the world in rail health solutions. Their UK office at the former British Rail Technology Centre in Derby is the European base of Chief Operating Officer Alistair Veach, who is responsible for ensuring the successful inspection of hundreds of thousands of miles of track in the UK, Europe and Asia. We use a technique called ultrasonic inspection. We're doing this at speeds up to 80 kilometers per hour, both rails continuously and inspecting up to 300 kilometers of track in any one day. And you've got to remember, as a train travels down the track, the vehicle body is doing this slowly because the way the wheels work on a train, it's designed to do that. But that works against us because we've got to send an ultrasonic signal down the center of the web of the rail. And as I say, if we're one or two millimetres out, we don't get any signal. The financial and safety implications of failure are significant. And success often relies on one key component, the actuators, used to keep the ultrasonic signal dead centre of the track. Before we got involved with Olsen Engineering, we were using other actuators, which would do the job, but they weren't anywhere near as reliable, were failing on us left, right and centre. Not only was it disappointing in terms of our performance, but our customers were struggling to get a safety critical service delivered to them because the actuators were failing and then we were having to pull in costly other means of testing the track. These trains are programmed to run probably six months in advance and if you lose that path it can take another six months to get it in some places and it will cost you a lot of money. Determined to resolve these issues, Alistair approached Olsen Engineering, a world leader in the customization and integration of electromechanical systems. At their base at the Innovation Centre in Daresbury, Olsen have the facilities and expertise to provide solutions to even the most demanding engineering challenges. I came to Piers with the problem and he really supported us through the process, helped us not only with the actuators but the actuator drive and the software. The, the standard XLR actuator didn't actually fit the purpose so we worked with Piers and we got the XLR company in the States to actually modify them. I think we went through one iteration and that was it which is very unusual for you know, servos and guidance systems. You normally go through loads of iterations. The unique design of the XLR makes them the most robust and reliable actuators on the market. But how well did they cope with the demands of Sperry Rail? Out of the five years now we've been working with Olsen, and I think we must have, ooh, getting on for five, six hundred actuators out there, we haven't had a single one fail. They're still running every day in a very hostile environment because we actually, in China, we run from a place called Harbin right the way down to the southern part of China and right the way up into Tibet. So we're running from minus 40 degrees C up to plus 60 degrees C in the desert areas. So it's, it's a very hostile environment these actuators are working in and they're absolutely brilliant. And while delighted with the actuators, Alistair believes his success is down to more than just a great product. It's the relationship that's the key. And any time we have a problem, you know, we get an answer. Um, we don't, we're not really hanging around waiting. And we can't afford to. They do what they say. They deliver a quality product and they're prepared to adapt and help you meet your end goal. The only sad part about it is that they're so reliable we, we don't need a massive amount of spares which is not really helping at all. <laughs> but it, it comes back in other ways. People are ordering more and more vehicles all over the world and we continue to use them and we recommend to other people. It's just in a nutshell they're a great company. Uh, Piers worked well with them and helped me and helped Sperry. The solution provided by Olsen Engineering and the XLR Actuator is one reason Sperry Rail remains at the forefront of their industry.
massive competitive advantage. It helped us to get the speed of the inspection up from 60 to 80 kilometres per hour. Nobody at the moment can do the same speed with the same sensor technology that we do. And we're going to go further yet. Uh, I'm not going to say. <laughs>